Hey everyone, we've arrived in Venice and I thought I would just show you this place because it is amazing. So here we go, we've got our kitchen lounge that we've got going on here. We've got aircon, yes. And then we've got over here our lovely bedroom which is so much bigger than the bedroom that we have at home. It's amazing. Also we have these windows, check this out. Oh we have a safe too which is always cool. But I wish we had this in New Zealand, but look, they can this window can open this way, or it can open this way. Is that not the coolest? So cool. And it's got a little pad and stuff, so Liam can do his drawing. And then we've got here a little um, wardrobe to put all of our stuff in. Um, washing machine, yeah, boring. Here's the best bit, the bathroom. You're like, oh yeah, whatever, cool. It's, you know, it's pretty nice. It is so nice. Check out the shower. It's a massaging shower. It has so many jets and stuff. I, I just want to have a shower right now, just to test it out. It's amazing. Oh, so cool. And TV, all good. And we've got our little balcony. Getting outside and a little thing and sunset in Venezia. Is this place not amazing? I love it. So stoked that we got this place. It's so cool. We've just hopped on our um, water bar. Bar 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 stunning today. Such a beautiful day. Hello. That, that's a water taxi. You're gonna pay lots of money for that yeah. one. It is busy today. <laughs> Bam. Whoa. This is the Plaza San San Marco. <laughs> Woo, <laughs> that's high up. <laughs> just not so stunning. Oh, it's so awesome. So what we have over here is the Bridge of Sighs because this here is slash was a prison and you'd have people come over from the courthouse and see just out through those little windows the beauty of Venice and so they sigh hence the Bridge of Sighs. Hey everyone, so we are now on the Rialto Bridge and here is the view. Pretty 
awesome view of the Grand Canal. I can see why it is hella busy. And this is the Rialto Bridge that we were just on before. And over there is the Hotel Rialto. Pretty famous bridges in Venice. Venice is known for its glass blowing, so hence we've got a lot of blown glass. Check out these masks, they're amazing. Good morning everyone, welcome to day two in Venice, basically our final day in Venice. We, we're leaving tomorrow to go to Florence, so this is pretty much it. So this morning, um, what have we done? It's now 11.20 and we basically got into Venice and had a coffee and a toasted sandwich, which was awesome and delicious. And yeah, we're basically keeping it pretty fast and loose today, just doing lots of exploring, walking around. Um, especially after yesterday because we, we went to the St. Mark's Basilica and then also the Palazzo Ducale and the Palace which was awesome but you know super touristy and like full of people and stuff so today we're just going to do more walking through the streets and all of that jazz so yeah at the moment I'm in this um, little square called Campo de la Maddalena and uh, yeah, here's the little view. I want all these tomatoes. Or maybe they're strawberries. Hmm. Look at how narrow it gets up here. There is barely any space at all between these two buildings. Bells are ringing for midday. Okay. So vibrant. Hey, really expensive gondola rides. <laughs> Look at how wide this is. So wide. <laughs> so we're at the Rialto Market. Check this out. There is a full-on swordfish here. Mm. Yum. These are sauces to make spaghetti montanara. Yum. Hopefully you guys can see those hands over there. Kind of looks like the hands are like um, making something out of pottery or something, especially with the what the the, uh, the color of the building and stuff. Looks pretty cool. So we came across this church, and it is ginormous. It is so huge. It is actually the biggest church in all of Venice. So it goes right around the back there and uh, yeah it's pretty massive. And one thing I figured out um, is that 
in Italy, if you want to save yourself a little bit of money and you go into a little place, eat at the bar or have a drink, like a drink of a cup of coffee at the bar. You save yourself so much money. They randomly like nearly double the price just if you have it at a, at a table. So there you go, there's a little tip for you, a tip for the day is if you do decide to go to Italy and you want to save your coin, have it at the bar. It means you might need to stand up but trust me you'll save your money. Let's check out this facade. Pigeons everywhere, taking over. And that, that winged lion is seemingly the symbol um, of Venice. That's why you see it everywhere. Check this out. So it's the, the little altars and stuff are carved in perspective so it actually looks like you're looking down at whatever it is, this man getting cleansed or something like that. And then again with the lion, told you. So it would be like you're looking over here at the lion. Told you, lions are everywhere. <laughs> We're now at the edge of the island. Ooh, what are those ranges over there in the background? And this is the island where they have um, that tower thing. So we're on the edge of Venice, guys. Pretty awesome. Yeah. It's nice. It's not so hot today. There's a bit of a breeze. It's good. It's, again, only 26 as opposed to like 29. <laughs> Oof, but we're going to need to get used to that because by the time we get to Florence it'll be like 32 and I'm going to die. Oh well, it's all good. It's going to be, it's going to be awesome. everyone so we made it to the Lido beach in Venice and here's what it looks like behind me you have the private section so we're actually at a couple of rivers walking around in the uh, the paid section um, but yeah this, here here is what the Lido beach looks like there's Liam holding all my crap as you can see, this bit here is the free beach section. Paid beach, free beach. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. We're pretty bummed though that we forgot to bring our togs. We're thinking about it, but we just didn't think that we would have time to get here. But actually walking through Venice is really easy. It's just not that big at all. Um, you know, we've covered a lot of ground just this morning and so we're like okay well you know we've seen a lot and we've done a lot so um let's just go check out the beach so here we are and it's beautiful as you can see you know not a cloud in the sky 